With over 1,800 exhibitions taking place in the UK, the business of events and shows can produce some impressive numbers. This year, 17 million visitors will attend UK events and 137,000 jobs are related to the industry. These events earn the UK some £10 billion per annum, with over £1 billion going into the Exchequer. Exhibition organisers and stand holders spend large amounts of time and money in preparation for events that typically will last just three days. This programme takes a look at a few of the exhibitions filmed by Attend Television, a company that assists organisers and stand holders to extend the life of this investment. Appropriately, our first stop is at a trade fair for event organisers called International Convex. Here we join Jonathan Race. Well, I'm here with Roisin Duffy, the managing editor of Mass Media. Thanks for, for talking Pleasure. to us, Roisin. Um, we're at this very, very busy stand. Uh, but tell us a bit about Mass Media. Who are you? What do you do? Well, we've been in existence for about 10 years. Okay. This year is our 10th anniversary. We're the leading publisher for the exhibition and conference industries. Um, we have a number of magazines and directories, um, Exhibition News, Conference News, Exhibition World, Conference and Meetings World. Um, and the reason we're here at Confex is we, we very much believe in supporting the industry shows. Um, we also, though, have the launch, which you might be able to kind of see here, my colleague showing some... Um, some delegates, um, the launch of Conference and Meetings World magazine in a digital format. Okay. So we can get that out to um, delegates around the world. Fantastic. Um, Is there a website attached to that? Is there... it's, it's, we have our own website, okay. expoabc.com, but this will be a way of actually getting the magazine out to Fantastic. people around the world. So um, it, it's, it's a, um, a product that is on the back of the existing Conference and Meetings World, which there is a, a proper magazine for. But just in terms of um, green, um, uh, green things green at the moment in terms of printing and, and sending a magazine abroad, we Absolutely. thought that was a, an interesting um, thing to start with and also just um, to grow our, our readership across the world in a different way. Who do companies and Prime Ministers turn to when they want to hold a children's party? Bonnie Bridgman looks at the services offered by one Confex exhibitor, Crafty Arty Party. Parties. Hello Kitty. Hi Bonnie, how are you? I'm very well. I'm loving the brightness and sparkliness of this stand. Thank you. Can you tell me what it is that Crafty Arty Parties does please? Yes, we specialise in events for children but very much with a creative feel. Okay. In other words, where kids meet and take touch, feel, look, learn, etc. Oh, okay. etc. Et so what sort of things can they make? Literally whatever the client wants. Okay. We sort of tend to tap into sort of the product or the promotion that they're trying to get across to their clients. Right, okay. So for example, these are our new children's characters called the Ponds. Right. And they get up to all sorts of adventures to do with the kids making smells. That's fantastic. So what sort of smells can they make? Um, we're trying again to link into sort of the educational aspect of it, so fruit, vegetable, herbs, things that, that they might smell in the environment. And the end product is they would make a fragrance or a perfume, a signature fragrance, and they would design the bottle and they would take the thing home at the end of the event. So they always get something to take home at the Absolutely, end? Absolutely, yeah. But something really special. <laughs> We've done lots for, as you can see, um, Harrods and Downing Street and Disney and Warner Brothers. And so there's some big names there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure they won't mind me saying them. You obviously know what you're doing if they're going to you. I hope so. <laughs> And you organise the whole event, don't you? You don't have to... No, we... I mean, obviously, when we started off, we were a supplier, yeah. but now we've built up the sort of portfolio and we've built the experience, which is the most important thing. You have to do all the groundwork to sort of, you know, evolve from there. Um, so, yeah, we organise the whole events now. So I wouldn't need to worry about a thing if I hired you. you just, I'd just tell you no, what I want and I'll leave you to do it. Absolutely, but you might not know what you want, no, so well, obviously exactly. we'll come up with some ideas for you as well. Fantastic, so you'll help me at the same oh, time. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And... In, in terms of the, the sorts of things that you do, obviously yes. it's, we're a very pink theme at the yes, moment. Yep. But it's not all about the pink. I've been upstairs with the area and we've got like a pirate theme going on. That's we right. It's for all ages, I believe. Absolutely. We tend to specialise from about four years of age upwards, okay. or if it's a crush, maybe two years old and upwards. Okay. Um, but although this is pink, um, very much boys as well. We do lots of stuff for Harry Potter and the gunk and the goo and the shock element. And... Which is along with the pongs as well. You've got all yeah, the different yeah. scents along there as well, which they can make smelly things to take yeah, home. <laughs> absolutely, 
And I've also seen a ball call upstairs. No party is complete without a little ball call in the boat. That's right, you have to have those. That's for the little children to bounce around in. Or, or and a big mummy or a big mummy and daddy that thinks that they can bounce around but can't anymore. And they can also interact as well if the mum and dad wants to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. I mean I love parents being with their children, just having that quiet quality time with them. But sometimes they do just want to leave the kids with us and go off yeah, and do other things. Which is understandable, yeah. depending on what sort of event it is that they Absolutely, got going absolutely. It's so. or either is possible. Brilliant. Well that's been fantastic. Thanks oh a lot. Goodness. It's a wonderful stand. Look at the pinkness behind me. Thanks, Kitty. You're welcome, Bonnie. Rebecca Jo Hanbury visited the NEC in Birmingham for the public show Music Live and could not resist trying out her skills. Hello, my name is Rebecca Jo Hanbury and I'm here with Martin at Birmingham NEC for Music Live. Now I've just had a go on the drums and I was I was pretty good. I think I'll get some, some drumsticks myself. Tell me what's so special about this particular drum kit. The thing that's particularly good about these drums is that you can play in complete silence. So lots of people haven't been allowed to have drums at home because they're too noisy yeah. and you're just not going to get permission from your partner or your wife or the neighbours. Yeah. These, you can just put the headphones in and play yeah. to, to your heart's content. So no dramas and no, no police hitting down the front door. Exactly. Now there's a little box and you can change the channel. That's right. What's interesting about these drum kits is it's not just one drum kit. If you buy an acoustic drum kit, for example, you're pretty much stuck yeah. with that acoustic single drum, sound. Yeah. This could be pop kit, jazz, rock electronic, all sorts of kits, just at the press of a button, so you don't have to change and mic up the kit. You just have a brand new kit at a push of a button instantly. And it sounds real, doesn't it? Absolutely. It does sound exactly like a real it's kit, been it feels recorded, like a kit. Yeah, absolutely. It's been recorded from real drums anyway, so we oh, sound right, okay. actual acoustic drums. So it is as realistic as it gets, okay. absolutely. And you've got lots of other gadgets and things about today. One of them was the, the loop station. Uh -huh. Tell me a bit about that. The loop station is a particularly interesting, it's an amazing piece of technology. It allows you to continuously build musical compositions. So for example, you could start with a microphone and do a beatbox, beatboxing and, and put some sort of rhythm down. And then you can hum the bass line over it and it's constantly recording you. And you can drop in and you can drop out and punch in new material. You could sing over it and harmonize. And very quickly, you build up a very complex and elaborate and beautiful piece of music in no time at all. Brilliant. It's great for improvisation. Thank uh, you. And we've got a good demo on the stand as well. I think, well, let's have a look then. Let's see it in action. Jonathan, meanwhile, was looking at a creative holiday. Well, I'm here with Mark Bailey at Bailey Guitars. Thanks very much for talking to us, Mark. Um, Bailey Guitars, kind of guitars, you know, but Bailey Guitars do something different. Tell us yeah, about the we're, company. We're different because I run a, what we do is I run a build your own guitar course where, where you, can, you can come to my workshop, use all my tools, and in five days you can build your own guitar completely from scratch, just from blocks of wood. Now, is, is that an acoustic guitar, electric guitar? You can do, you can make any kind of guitar, and um, we do electric guitar. If you're making an electric guitar uh, in five days, it would have to be something fairly basic like this. Okay. Some guitars obviously take longer. We can, we can, I can show you some of those okay, no shortly. Uh, but we, we can do, you could do uh, acoustic guitars as well? Yep, it takes 15 days on average for an acoustic guitar. Fantastic. Why does it take longer for an acoustic guitar than it does for an electric guitar? Well, basically, uh, uh, an electric guitar is basically a lump of wood right. with some holes in it, and you screw the bits on. Obviously the neck is the most complicated part of an electric guitar, yeah, yeah. but with an acoustic guitar, the neck is the, the easy bit. Right. And most of the work is in the... Um, well, let's have a look at one of those. Most of the work on an acoustic guitar is actually inside, you can't see it, but it's in the bracing. And the difference between a factory guitar and a handmade guitar is that I can graduate these braces 
I can take a little bit more off, a little bit more off, and I'm tapping it all the time, trying to get an evenly balanced response. And so uh, a handmade guitar is lighter in weight, and it rings, it's louder, and right. more sustained. So, so it's all about the quality of sound at the end of the day. Fantastic. Now, where, where is this? We're based in Scotland. Originally started in Coventry in a double-decker bus. <laughs> I built my first 60 guitars in a double-decker bus. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, but we've moved up in the world now. I've got a custom guitar workshop in the hills in Scotland. We're 10 minutes from Presswick Airport, 10 minutes from Air Station, and people come from all over the world to my work, little workshop in the hills Excellent. and build their own guitar. Five day, you know, they're there for five days and they leave with a, a, you know, a, a fantastic handmade guitar and they can make it any shape they want. Right. Well, they, they look they look fantastic. Now you you do the uh, guitar um, school, but also you have your own production guitars as well. Yeah. Um, and that's actually the one we looked at was one of your yeah, your kind of entry my, level my entry level basic basic model. Yeah. Well, you do some uh, also custom built guitars as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got some on show here. Let's have a look at some of these. Now these are these are ordered from customers that give you a, a design, and then you sort of carry it out for them. The guitar that I've made for a guy. He told me exactly what he wanted. So. This is a quilted maple cap, a lovely sunburst on it. It's got three, um, three single coils. These are customer specified. This is the make and model that he, he wanted. Also a, a Wilkinson trem. Um, and this one's neck through, neck through construction. So there's no separate neck, it's all one piece. So this is the bee's knees of electric guitars. It's obviously a nod towards uh, another well-known guitar manufacturer. Which we won't mention. Which we won't mention just now. Um, this is like um, a faded, faded jeans sort of effect. And you do all of this in your workshop in Scotland? Yeah, we do the whole thing. Fantastic. From That's brilliant. And, uh, and in the background as well, we've got some even more guitars. Yes. Let's have a look at those. Well, my personal passion is acoustic guitars. I love electric guitars as well. But, um, this is the guitar that I, I take out and play. My partner Carol, she's a fantastic singer. Right. We go out as an acoustic duo. I play, she sings. I play that guitar. Now let's have a look at these so ones. This, now these are a little bit different, aren't they? This is, um, this is what you call the Rolls Royce of guitars. This is the ultimate guitar. It's uh, carved on the outside. It's also carved on the inside. Uh, it, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the uh, at home viewers, if you can see exactly the, the detail that's gone into it, but it's absolutely stunning. The thistle inlay. Again, this is a custom build. So I've built this to customer requirements. He wanted a very narrow neck. He actually gave me the measurements, you know, oh, really? of the thickness of the neck. Wow. Um, and so he's obviously a very uh, sort of professional and kind of a high standard of player as well. Yeah, I get all sorts, you know, from beginners to, to professionals as well. Fantastic. Now, with all these guitars, where can we get hold of them? Where can a customer find them? At the moment, you can only buy a Bailey guitar from me, so you have to track me down, www.baileyguitars.co.uk. Again at the NEC, Bonnie was visiting the Caravan and Motor Home Show and seems a little overwhelmed. I'm with Ross from Travel World and he's going to show me around this rather large vehicle after you. Okay. Good God, it's enormous, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely. This is a 36 foot. 36 foot. And what's the standard normally on UK vehicles? Well, the UK uh, European size vehicles would normally be about 25 to 30 foot, and so this is a 36 foot uh, with four slide out rooms. Right. Gosh, I don't even know where to start in here. It's just fantastic. So this, I presume, would be the lounge area, would it? Mm -hmm. Sofa uh, and the dinette booth both turn into, into beds, so this would be a six berth vehicle. And that turns into just a normal double bed as a sofa yeah. bed would anyway. Mm -hmm. Pulls out as a sofa bed, yeah. And what's that screen down there by the The driver? monitor on the dashboard is a, is a reverse camera, so there's a camera on the back so you can see behind you. Oh, what, for parking? Yeah, for parking or even for travelling on the, on the motorway, you can see lanes behind you, what's oh, happening. So see uh, other people as well. Yeah, oh, very Fantastic. much so, yeah, yeah. And I, I see that TV screen up there as well. Yeah, main TV, there's two televisions. There's a big television at the front, big TV in the back. Uh, there's also a VCR DVD player, uh, full surround sound system in here as well. It's just amazing, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's a and freestanding recliner, uh, recliner chair here. What, that one there? Mm -hmm. Oh, the recliner chair. Gosh. This all um, recline back and that's freestanding as well, so you can move it around the place. You've thought of everything here, haven't you? And does that is that there the whole time? Or? 
both of these, uh, the, the, the chairs at the front, they'll uh, swivel all the way around or they'll uh, point forward obviously for when you're travelling, so uh, multiple, multiple uses. And what's through here? Oh, the kitchen! Kitchen area, yeah. Full size kitchen area. This is uh, Corian work surfaces. It's like a man made stone surface. And a stainless steel microwave. And that's quite a large microwave as well, isn't it? This is a, a 12 cubic foot fridge freezer, so it's a four door fridge. Uh, you literally can get everything in there, can't you? Two door you? freezer with a, an ice maker. It's bigger than my freezer, it has. Probably bigger than mine, actually, as well. I'm quite ashamed of that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I watched through here. Do you want to see the slide out rooms working? Oh, go on then. Point towards the, the kitchen and the sofa, you'll see how this. So, basically, the slide out room is a, a box which is electrically operated, just a push button. And you've still got loads of room though, even when it's. Yeah. So, there are, there are four there. of these, and when they slide in, uh, you can still use all the vehicle inside. It just, they just move out to create the filling space. Gosh, and the finish on here is just. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah, this is uh, one of our highlights in the range. So. so this is the bathroom. Yep, full shower cubicle. This Gosh, is, it's uh, really roomy in there as well. Hundred gallons of fresh water on board as well, so there's plenty of shower time. Hundred gallons. Absolutely, it's a big old tank. God. I cannot honestly get over the sheer size. Oh, separate toilet with all the storage in there as well. Possibly the toilet as well. And this is the bedroom. The master bedroom. Yes. I feel like I'm in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two slide out rooms in the bedroom as well. So again, a, a massive filling of space. Uh, this is an electric uh, massage air mattress for the uh, for the bed. Oh. Uh, there's also a, a full length wardrobe, and uh, there's even a position for a, a washer dryer in the bedroom. You've literally got everything that you need in here, haven't Absolutely, you? Yeah. You don't need a flat or a house unless you've no, got a family of twenty. Drive off into the sunset. And um, where, where do you find your customers normally travel to? Is it a variety of different places? Yeah, we've got a lot of wide-ranging kind of customer base. So we have private guys that use them just in the UK. We, get, we have guys who spend the winters abroad, uh, guys who, who are into motor racing, just use them for weekends. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you, you really would just use this all the time though, wouldn't you? And this is the TV as well. Bedroom television, yeah. Everything's just so tidied away. And Do you have one of these? <laughs> Not personally, but we have uh, we we do occasionally use them, yeah. Yeah, and you, do you go away a lot on them? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do, we go to a lot of uh, weekend meetings, so we're away quite often, and, uh, especially in the summertime. Yeah, we go Who away. gets this room? Me. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you were oh, going to yes. say that? <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you very Good much. Time, Bonnie then met up with a happy visitor. My name's Anthony North, and we've come here today to try and buy a caravan. And have you succeeded? I have, yes. Tell me about it, please. We've just brought the new Swift 540. Fantastic. Uh, fixed island bed at the rear, shower cubicle. Very nice fan, very nice fan. And we did get a very good discount. Just for attending today, is attending it? Attending today, <laughs> and because we've paid him today as well, he's chucked in three or four extras that you would have had to pay. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, we've got a little colour telly and, you know, just, little, you really? yeah, just <laughs> little bits of, there's your battery, you know. And where have you come from today for? We've come from Telford in Shropshire. And right. we'll have to go down to Western Supermare to pick the van up, which is, we're not bothered. Yeah. Because it's a ride out anyway, so. <laughs> and where did you hear about the event today? Uh, the event was in the book, in the caravan book. Fantastic, so you yeah. just flick through and off yeah, chance. Yeah, flick through, we, we thought we'd come here, cause, and we'd come on a Thursday before the public come on a Friday, yeah. you know, over the weekend before it got busy. So yeah, we've done all right. Very You've done tough. really yeah. well if you got your yeah. free TV in yeah. there. Meanwhile, Jonathan is looking for a vehicle for long journeys. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm in some kind of space pod ready to take me to the moon. Well, no, you're wrong. I'm actually in the boot. Yes, the boot, or the garage as they like to call it, of the Cartago M-Liner motorhome. Now let me just show you, I clamber out, quite how big it is. This is the boot door. And that's the rest of it. And uh, we've got a gentleman here to talk to us about Cartago. Hi, come in. Um, tell us a bit about Cartago as a company. And, uh, and why they make such wonderful big vehicles. Okay, Cartago, one of the most, most prestigious vehicle makers in Germany. I've been making vehicles for about 25 years. Uh, we're an importing company into England for the UK market. Um, we've been doing this for about seven years now, and this is one of their brand new vehicles. Now, this is the biggest one you've got at the show, isn't it? But it's not yes. the biggest one that Cartago do. There is an no, even bigger there are, one. There are this. bigger ones than this, yes. yes. That's, well, let's take a look inside. Uh, okay. We'll show all the bells and whistles inside. Here we go. 
Wow, here we go. Right. Take a seat. Thank you very much. Well, very nice interior of the M-Liner here. And uh, tell us a bit about um, how they're constructed uh, and why they are so special. Well, Carthago tend to hand-build the vehicles. So it's a bit more bespoke, mm -hmm. uh, less numbers, but for the customer that wants the best in motorhomes, hand-built quality, Carthago specialise in that. Fantastic. Now, how many do you sell a year? As the company themselves sell about 2,000 a year. Okay. Here in the UK, we'd probably sell somewhere around about 60 of these vehicles a year. Yeah, of course, absolutely. our company. Now, I've noticed uh, next to you that this is actually a left-hand drive. Now, we are in the UK. Um, why, why, is, why is that? Okay, we sell right-hand drive as well. Okay. Quite a few of our customers at this level of the market would spend most of their time in Europe. They'd disappear four to six months at a time, cruise around Europe, seeing all the different parts there is to see. And a left-hand drive is more suitable for those type of customers. Of course, yeah. Now this is uh, this has got everything you would need, I think. And this is this is more about actually kind of living in it, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. spending time in it. Yeah, it's not just a holiday vehicle. It's meant for long periods of time. You've got all the facilities you could have from home, etc. In here. Okay. Now, um, how does it start with uh, with the sort of the the design of it? You have a, like a basic floor plan, then you can add to it. Is that exactly? You can add to it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, most things come with this level of. Mo this level of vehicle. Okay. Um, additions you can make to this, like air conditioning throughout. It's got central heating throughout, as you would have at home. Okay. Um, satellite navigation, obviously. Satellite TV, so you can view channels all around Europe, etc., etc. Fantastic. This goes on and on. Now, as big as this is, um, it is still for two people, and now we're going to have a look at the bedroom just now. Okay. One of the advantages to get the home from home feeling is that the washroom expands into a total wash and dress room area. So you've got the ensuite shower that leads onto the washroom and changing room, leaning onto the bedroom. Okay, leading onto the bedroom. Uh, in this case, you've got twin beds, um, but it's obviously available as a, a double bed version as well. And lots of room, comfortable mattresses like you get at home, and the central heating goes through to this area as well. Well, the milk's in the fridge, and uh, the satellite navigation is all ready to go. Next stop, Monte Carlo. Is that left or right? Join the team next time when they visit more events that are there for just three days. But back now to International Confex to join Rhythm of Choice. Thank you. 